Uh, it's great to be here. Um, obviously, I think the Big Ten every year does a tremendous job with uh, media day. It's not a lot of waste time, uh, which coaches like. So we get in and get out, uh, get to talk about our team, which is which is terrific. Um, you know, I want to thank Jim Delaney for the job he's done, uh, making every job in the Big Ten a great job. Um, we're going to miss him. Uh, and uh, I know this is his last media day, so thanks to Jim and all that he's done and the things he did for me when we joined the league, you know, playing the, playing the tournament in D.C. and uh, just a lot of things that he helped uh, integrate us into the Big Ten. So Jim will be missed. Um, obviously, I think the Big Tens, I've been in a lot of leagues uh, in my career. I think the Big Tens terrific. We're coming off our, one of our best seasons ever, obviously our best NCAA tournament ever, most wins. Most teams on to the Sweet 16, or excuse me, the Final 32. Um, so it was a terrific year. I, I expect it to be the same, obviously, this year. Um, a lot of great teams, maybe a little bit better at the top uh, than we were, but, and every, but every bit is deep. Um, that's the thing about our league. There's just so many good teams, so many good coaches uh, in the league, so it's, it's terrific. Um, my team, I uh, really like my team. Obviously, we haven't played a game yet, so we all like our teams, but... Uh, very talented, um, got some great depth, as long as our young guys keep getting better, and um, play a terrific schedule. We got a terrific league schedule again, uh, play a lot of the so-called top teams a couple times, so we're excited about that, and uh, just looking forward to getting started. So with that, I'll open it up. Thanks, Coach. We'll open the floor for questions. Mark, Don Marcus from the Baltimore Sun. Uh, can you talk about the expectations uh, on Maryland this year in terms of being picked second? And, and how does a young team that maybe hasn't had that uh, on them, how you, do you as a coach help them deal with it? Yeah. We love it, Don. We're, we're excited. Um, our guys only know one way, and that's to work hard. It, it, our culture is terrific right now. Um, our guys are in the gym early, in the gym late in the gym with, with me uh, during the day. Um, they're embracing it. We're all embracing it. Uh, we want more, <laughs> and we want to be great. So uh, we're excited. We, we know we have a good team. And if we didn't think we were good and we were picked second, we'd be worried. But we think we have a good team. Now, we'll see what happens. You've got to play the games. But we feel like we have a talented team that, that's embracing the situation and looking forward to everything that comes with it. Coach Jack Williams, D1 CoachCorner.com. Uh, how would you compare Makai Mitchell's game to Bruno Fernando's? Say it again. Makai oh, Mitchell to Bruno Mackay. Fernando. Yeah. Um, you know, big, strong, physical guys. Um, both pretty athletic. You know, Bruno was at another level athletically. Um, uh, Makai is very skilled. Um, can really he got great hands. Him and his brother both have great hands. Can catch everything. Uh, Makai and Mikel both have great feel for the game. Tremendous passers. Um, they've been able to pick things up real quickly. Um, and you look at Makai, and you might not think he's a great athlete, but he's he can really run the floor, and uh, he's very physical. You know, he's really what we needed. Uh, we've added some toughness to our team. Last year was amazing what our group did with five freshmen in the top eight. We weren't very physical, but we figured out how to win just enough games to make the tournament and win a game. Um, but this year, we're, our sophomores are bigger and our incoming freshmen are, are, are strong and athletic. But Makai's a guy, um, you know, if he continues to let us coach him and, and continues to get better and continues to work on – you know, he's shot and things. He's got a chance to really, really help us a lot uh, this season. Back left. Wayne Viner with Turp Talk. Can you talk about what it means to the program to have two unanimous Big Ten first-team selections, and where do you see uh, Anthony Cowan developing further under your tutelage? Yeah, so, you know, Anthony had a terrific summer. I mean, going into his senior year, he, he made the decision he wanted to come back to Maryland and make an impact and have a legacy. Um, so he has a chance to do a lot of things. He scored a lot of points. He has a lot of assists. He has a lot of steals. But 
he wants to win at a high level. So I think that's really uh, his his biggest uh, thing going into the season. Uh, the thing with Anthony is we're just trying to get him to quit turning the ball over so much, um, uh, especially the live ball turnovers. It's something we've really worked on. Uh, he's gotten better at it. He's had some tremendous, you know, early season uh, days uh, for us. Um, so, I, you know, we're, we're expecting Anthony to be terrific. And then he's just a tremendous defender. I, I think he's, for his size, I don't know if there's a better defender in the country uh, for what he does. Um, Jalen, obviously, we're glad he's back. Wonderful kid. We don't call him sticks anymore. We call him logs because he's gotten so much bigger. And, um, hell, he never has a sh shirt on anymore. He's always trying to show his upper body off. Um, but sticks... Logs has really worked hard to expand his game. He's become a much better perimeter defender. Um, you know, we've worked on his hand. We've worked on everything. We've worked on his low post. And so he had a terrific freshman year. I think with, with, with Jalen, we just want more consistency, and that's what he wants too, and he should be able to do that for us this year. Straight back here. Andy Seligman, AP. Um, Mark, what, what do you think of the California, the, yeah. you know, California Fair pay to play act and what sort of obstacles do you think that presents <laughs> and also do you think it's, it's a good law a sign a sign of progress yeah I, I think I think it's obviously a very complex issue um, as a coach you know you always want more for your student athlete uh, I remember when I played you know not you know missing meals and not having enough money um, because you, you, know, you didn't have time for a job. So um, it's a little different today than it was then. So you always, want, you always want what's best for the student athlete. You want them to be comfortable. There's a lot of pressure on them. Uh, they do a lot of great things for our university, especially my kids. Um, it would be interesting to see what happens. Uh, I think what we all want is it's just an even playing field when it's all said and done. I know it's going to be a process, and so... Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens over the next three or four years. Mark, can you talk about uh, who, who do you think has made the biggest jump from of the of this group of freshmen from you know uh, group of sophomores from their freshman year? That's a really hard question because they've all made a, a big jump. During the summer, I thought it was Aaron Wiggins. Uh, he made a huge jump. Um, kid was working out like four times a day. Um, he 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 really got better. Um, you know, we need him to be more aggressive offensively for us. Uh, to take that next step. Uh, Eric Ayala totally changed his body from when he came here. Um, you know, Eric, I'm not sure Eric could dunk when we got him. Now he's, you know, reverse dunking and double pumping on dunks and things. So he's gotten more athletic. His shot's even gotten better. I didn't think he was a great shooter when we signed him. Now I think he's one of the better shooters I've ever coached. Um, he's become a better defender. Ricky Lindo's put on 30 pounds from... August going into his freshman year till now. Ricky just turned 19 last week. Um, he's very young. Uh, he's improved tremendously. Just needs to get more confident. But I think he he's an unbelievable defender. I can he can go one through five for us. You know, he guarded Hap some games uh, to switch in one four ball screens and being on a point guard. So he's uh, he's special for us. Jalen obviously he's put on 35 pounds since he's been here. Uh, continues to get better. Uh, Sorrell's become more consistent um, offensively uh, for us. So it's, they've all gotten better, which is exciting, uh, you know, for us. Josh Tamayas made a step. Daryl Marcel, leadership, maturity, calmness, you know, it's, it's really great to see. He's really at peace with himself. Uh, he's not turning the ball over like he was last year. He really made a, a huge change the last five or six games for us, and it's carried over. So I think everybody's really been – we didn't like the way the season ended. It was devastating because we, we loved each other. We loved that team. 
We had to say goodbye to a couple guys, so we've worked extra hard because of the way the season ended. Thank you, Coach. Yep, thank you.